Hi guys, Shox here, and welcome back to the cake decorating playlist. Dun da da da! Today we are just going to decorate a prefab gingerbread house. Tis the season, so let's get building! It comes all prepared, there's no baking required, everything you need is in the box. Comes with all the pieces that you need. See the sprinkles? Sugar jellies, jelly beans, a green one, and a red pinwheel candy. Something in a shiny package, Santa and snowman, and the icing that you're gonna need. Uh, warm up your icing a little bit in your hands or stick it in your pocket while you're getting your stuff set up. It's a little softer and easier to use. Okay, let's take this apart and see what it looks like. Okay, so what I've done is I've just opened up all the containers and separated it. I've got the walls. I've got the front and the back. Front has the door. The back has no more. One, two roof panels. And at the bottom of this is the base for the house. Got some snowmen here. This looks like the chimney pieces. And this looks like a tree. Also have the icing warming in my pocket. There's the package of icing. This tip, you are going to need to cut it. Start small with your tip hole. Is that even coming up? Can you see that? Is it? Actually, might want to make that a little bit bigger. Now you don't want to cut it over your work area because you don't want it to get lost in your things. Also, you want to keep your tip covered. Wall preparation. Place the front and rear wall panels with the inside of the walls facing you. Place a strip of icing along both edges of each of the four walls as per picture. Begin wall assembly. Insert front wall panel into slotted base as per picture, then place the first side wall panel into slot and slot against the icing and front panel as per picture. Continue building your walls, then put your roof on, then do the rest of it into this base. So let's just put a little bit, because we don't want to run out. Just a bit. Alright, and then it says to do lines on the back of your house, on the front and back and the sides of your house. So basically what you want to do with these guys is you're just going to do a trim on the inside of the gingerbread. Maybe I didn't make this hole big enough. Can you see what I'm doing here? Got stuck in there. Oh man. Aw, oh, poo! Well, sometimes that happens. Alright, so if your bag does explode like this, you're just going to have to put it on with your fingers. See what I'm doing here? I am just smearing this on. Work. Yeah, I broke it because it got stuck. Okay, so I've got the edges done. Now I'm going to have to go and get a napkin to wipe my finger off with. You want to use a damp napkin because this, this is sticky. And let's try to assemble this. So, Alright, so we've smeared this all over and I'm just going to try to put these in here like it says. Oh, there we go. Alright. I'll just hold it together for a sec after you get your icing on there. And give it a good chance to stick together. Press it from the sides. You don't want to press it too hard because you don't want to break it. Alright, now see kind of what I'm doing here with the front and back. I'm just kind of gently, gently pressing it together. Now this icing will dry kind of quickly because it is um, based on a royal icing. Okay, so at this point... The little swoopy parts are going to be facing down. I am going to just put the icing on the insides here. So here we go. I think there's going to be a little bit of extra icing kind of oozing off of this. I'm not really going to worry about it. Okay, so we got some on there. 
And it doesn't matter if you drip icing on the base of this because it's going to be decorated anyway, right? Like, it's fun. It's not... So if you guys want in the comments down below, tell me which is your favorite way to decorate a gingerbread house. There's half. Let's get this on here. Here's the other half. Let's get this on here. I'm just going to get a little bit of extra icing and smear it on the top in between the crack here to try to hold it on a little bit better, I hope. The frame is um, done. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so here's the chimney pieces and the instructions say to stick icing in the middle of it. Stick them together to stick icing on the bottom of it and stick it on the top of your house. I don't know how this is going to stick or how well it's going to stick. I did it the wrong way. So you want to put the angled part on your roof because your roof is angled, right? That makes sense. Oh, that worked just fine. Do you see that? Yay! We put a chimney on our house. We're going to set this aside and let it dry a little bit and bring out our snowman and the tree to decorate it.